Welcome to the Yes to Access tutorial video. This video will help you learn how to conduct an accessibility check of a public space using the app. Let's go through the steps one by one. To begin with, registration. First, choose your preferred language and move on to enter an avatar name and select the preferred avatar. Read through our landing pages to learn more about our app. Welcome to Yes to Access. To create an account, click the sign up button on the login page. You can access the map feature without creating an account. Read through the terms, conditions and privacy policy. After that, please check the boxes to proceed if you are above 18 years, have understood that this app will not do a complete accessibility audit and have read the privacy policy. To create your account, you need to first verify your avatar name, then type in your mobile number through which you want to register. Here, you can enter the coupon code that the organizer has allotted to you. For example, Sugamya Yatra is one of the coupon codes. You can register without a coupon code as well. Enter the OTP which has come on your mobile. This is the home page. Here you can see the latest news updates, start a new audit, explore the map and watch the learning videos. To start the audit of a location, click the button on the home page or on the toolbar below. Your location will be auto-detected if location permissions are on. Type in the name of the location, choose the type of location and add additional comments or observations if available. Click Start to start the audit. The audit captures accessibility features of the entrance, internal routes, approach, toilets and parking space. At the entrance of the building, let's check accessibility of a ramp. Click the camera button and either take a picture or upload from your gallery. The app will detect if the ramp is present. Place the device on the ramp and click start. This will calculate its angle and whether it is a safe and accessible ramp or not. In this case, the ramp's angle is 11.75 degrees and is identified as accessible. Let's move to the next feature to audit, staircase support inside the building. Click a picture and the app will identify if there are railings on the sides of the stairs. Then select the check boxes that apply. In this case, handrails are detected and are on both sides. Next, at the entrance, Let's check whether there is a wheelchair available for use. Click a picture and the app will detect the presence of a wheelchair. Now onto the door width identification. To check the width, click an image of the full door and mark two points at the ends of the door on the image for the app to detect the width. If it is greater than 0.9 meters, then it will mark it as accessible. Next, we have to conduct an accessibility check of the toilet in this building. For this, use the camera to click a picture of the toilet to detect a toilet with internal support. 
The checkboxes include if there is an obstruction to enter, if the door is a sliding one or not, and if the door swings. Select the ones that apply. You can even check for clear signage. Scan using the camera for detection. Select any extra checkboxes that apply. For example, if clear signage is directional. To check for traction, rate how good the grip is of the pathway ranging from 1 to 4. Add the image to continue if you have not. Lastly, explore the map feature. It shows the ratings of public buildings based on the audits that have been conducted, helping you locate accessible spaces nearby. Tap on any pin to view details of the building. You can see the parking accessibility, entrance accessibility, and more. And even further details are provided under each area type. You can refer to the legends at the bottom to understand the emojis. In this case, the parameters under the toilet have a low accessibility rating. You can explore other parameters this way. Then, click on the map if you want to navigate to a location using Google Maps. And that's it. You are now ready to use Yes to access to make a difference.